Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be sharing a post review with you guys on something sweet from Mandy Manzano and Diamond Art Club. I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing in frame vertically, but I will do a little bit of like close up shots where I'll have it the right way. But okay, this is something sweet from Manny Manzano and Diamond Art Club. It is a 51 by 76 centimeter um, canvas and it is round drills. I did this piece for the hashtag tale as old as time paint along which is being hosted by Crystal over at Classy Sassy Stitcher. I believe that is her username here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram. So unfortunately this kit is discontinued by Diamond Art Club, which is such a shame because it is so beautiful and it worked up so quickly. I started this on, I believe the event started November 1st and I finished it I believe Monday, I think, which was November 8th, if that's correct. Um, and I loved it. It worked up so quickly. I did have a day off in that mix, so I was able to get a lot of diamond painting in. Um, but I think it still would have, I still would have had it finished by this weekend. But nonetheless, um... I did make a couple of changes, which I'll go over when we get in a little bit closer. Um, but all in all, just from this standpoint, like the zoomed out um, view, I think the rendering is fantastic. Um, I knew exactly what I was working on as I was placing drills. Um, this area, like the bodice of her dress was so fun to work on. And um, I personally love Manny Manzano's, all of her like swirl and black lines and the swirls in her dress just came out so nice. Um, I really loved the coloring in the beast. Um, I think his fur really shows in his face. I was kind of like, what is this going to look like? But the colors I think come together really well and his face and his ears look awesome um i also really like the yellow and green in the background i saved this part for last so i worked from the bottom up um i kind of like to save the boring parts if you will for the last thing i work on on a canvas i know some people are the opposite way where they start with the boring area and then move to the more exciting things um I love working with yellow so even though this wasn't necessarily like the most fun of the kit I still really liked completing this end and there was quite a bit of color blocking so it went by pretty quickly. Um, as far as the changes that I made to this kit I did add in a couple of ABs. I believe this kit came with two. Yes I think it came with a white and a light pink. Um, and the light pink is all in her dress down here. Um, and the white is throughout like the flowers of her hair, um, the beast's teeth. And where else was there white? There was definitely more pink AB than white AB. Um, but the changes that I made were, I added some pink ABs to her lips. Um, they were charted just a normal pink color, and I had a, cl a close color in AB. This is from, um, this is AB604 from, uh, DP with sparklers. Pff, my brain wasn't working there. Um, so I just added that into her lips. I think the light pink in her dress, there was plenty. I didn't need to jazz anything up there. Um, and then... I used two red ABs, so 321 and 666. These were the colors charted in the roses. I'm actually gonna turn the canvas this way so you guys can see. Bring it down a little bit. 
sorry for my shirt. <laughs> um, so in the roses, I completely swapped out the colors for the AB. So 321 and 666. And I think it just made it sparkle a little bit more. Um, and I like how they turned out. So I'm going to just do a little scan up and then I'll show you what I had left in the way of regular drills. I just, their faces came out. So even Belle's face came out really cute. Um, the Beast is my favorite. His face just looks awesome. Those. All right, let me grab my containers. I used the Elizabeth Ward storage containers for this kit, um, which is one of my favorite ways to kit up. Also grab my little basket here. So if you've ever completed a Mandy Manzano piece before, you know and can see that she uses a lot of black lines in her work, which means a lot of black diamonds. Um, I can't remember exactly how many bags I got. I wanna say like six or seven, and I have a whole bag left that I didn't even get into. So I had plenty of 310. I normally have my camera on this side and I put it in my little holder the opposite way. So I'm so used to going like this. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. So plenty of 310. Uh, here are the two ABs, so light pink and white. Actually, this wasn't 141. So this was the white with like the mint cover, cover, yeah, I guess, mint covering. This is 125, so it's not their typical white AB. Um, yeah, there was no colors that I was concerned about running out of, and the colors were just so fun, like these three greens. I feel like they're not colors that I normally work with in kits, but they were so pretty in this one. I really enjoyed having them in this kit. As far as trash, my trash drills kind of got mixed in with good, good drills that I like would find on the canvas or they would fall out of my container. Um, but I'll show you what I have here. Um, there are definitely some some trash in here. This kit had a lot of the little tiny drills. Like if you're not paying a close enough attention, they look like a regular size drill, but then you put them down and you're like, that's not right. <laughs> so, um, and I had a lot of like half drills. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm still working on my lighting in here. So I apologize if it's not perfect. Um, but I did have quite a few of like the half drills, the little tiny pieces, um, but all in all, it was around and I was happy with the drills for sure. So awesome drills. This is an older kit from Denmark Club. I'm trying to remember when I purchased this. I think last year they found they like they were moving warehouses and they found kits like shoved away somewhere and they put them on their website. I think that's how I got this one and I am so happy that I was able to get this one. As soon as I heard that Crystal was ho hosting a Beauty and the Beast event, I was like, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I do have the Beauty and the Beast panels from Mandy Manzano, but I knew I wanted to work on this one. Something else I like to do in my post reviews is I like to show you guys the things that I use, the extra goodies. Um, I actually ordered a pen specifically for this kit and it did not get here in time. Sad face, but that's okay. Um, I ordered it from, I can't, <laughs> I'm gonna embarrass myself, I can't say the shop name, Sis Plus Beau et Tour. Um, I'm really sorry if I butchered that, <laughs> but um, I ordered it from there and it didn't get here in time, which those pens come from France and it was a long shot that it would get here, but it's beautiful and I will definitely share it when it does get here. Um, but I'll show you what I ended up using anyway. So I use 
this set of trees from Bella Art De Nicole. I believe this is in bubblegum pink. As far as pens, I did use a, another pen that I own from Cis Plus Beau Etour. <laughs> I took Spanish in school, so I feel like I'm totally butchering that. But um, this is just a really pretty pink. Like, and there's a blue shift in it. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on camera. But So I used this with a seven placer. I have this pen that I I grabbed out, but I I really don't think I used it. I had a four placer ready. Um, this is a blank from uh, Would Be Nice Creations, I believe, and it was turned by Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and more. They have a Facebook group. Um, they also have an Etsy shop called O'Brien's Custom Turning. And then for my straightener, I used this pen from Madwood Turnings. I love their hybrids. And their pens are single-sided, so I use Everlasting Tip metal straighteners in them. As far as wax, this is also from <laughs> Cis Plus Beau Etour um, in their coconut scent. I really like their wax. It lasts a really long time for me. I've kind of <laughs> made it look not so nice, but I do like their wax. I use that in my single placer. I used Museum Putty Quake Hold in my multi placer. I uh, use release papers, you guys don't care. I get those on Amazon from Star Wars. Um, I used a pretty placer, pretty placer in Rose Hip and Peach for my ABs. I used um, for my washi. <laughs> this is from Amanda Michelle Designs. She has an Etsy shop and her own Shopify page. And this is just a gold from Scotch. And for my minders, I have quite a few Beauty and the Beast minders. It's one of my favorite um, Disney movies. This one is Tale as Old as Time. I believe I got this from, um, oh gosh, the shop name just left my brain. Um, Mad for Minders. Pretty sure I got that right. Um, and then these two, I believe I got from Galloway's Gallery. She also now has her own Shopify page. So that is everything on this beautiful diamond painting. Um, I really enjoyed this. If there's any way that you can get your hands on this in like a de-stash group um, or you have it in your stash, I highly, highly, highly recommend completing it. It was so fun. I loved the colors. Um, it was nice to mix like mix it up because I feel like right now we're all doing or we're doing at this time like fall Halloween paintings um and I was ready to just have some color and this definitely hit the spot <laughs> um if there's anything in this post review that you think I missed or that you would like more information on or something that I should talk about in my next post review please let me know down below um I sometimes struggle with Diamond Art Club post reviews because I feel like everybody's like, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> and I've definitely worked on Diamond Art Club paintings that I've had issues with, but this one is not one of them. This was amazing to work on. Um, the adhesive was perfect. Everything was just awesome. So I know that people get frustrated when they watch reviews on this company because it just sounds like everybody is gushing about them. Um, and I get that. I feel the same way sometimes, but this is a round kit, um, beautiful colors. So this one I really, really did enjoy. <laughs> and I'm jumping on the, this is the best Diamond Art Club painting <laughs> that I've worked on. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I do want to let you guys know, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video. I do have an affiliate code for Diamond Art Club. Um, it's down below if you're a first time purchaser. It's Diamond Paintings by Laura. I believe it gets you 15% off your first purchase. Never are you obligated to use it. Um, there are so many coupon codes out there and so many affiliates that have codes. Um, just never pay full price for a Diamond Art Club painting. I never do and neither should you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for checking out this post review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope 
if you love this, that you have it in your stash or you're able to get your hands on it. I don't necessarily frame my diamond paintings, but, and this doesn't really like fit my aesthetic, <laughs> if you will. Um, but this would look so pretty in like, a, a child's room that loves princesses. My nieces are too young. No, my nieces are too old for something like this. A couple of years ago, they would have gone crazy for this painting, but maybe someday we'll have somebody else to share it with. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.